All right, welcome back, everybody. It's Black Art Six again. Uh, we're going to continue on with our publishing preparations. Uh, the last thing we want to do here is we're going to go over uh, creating a mission header. All right, so and to do that, you do not do it in World Editor. You need to switch to your Infusion Workbench, and this is the reason we put the mission folder here. So you have a folder called missions with an S. It has to be named that. Um, then you, what you do is you click on that and you go down to create and you say config file. And the name of your config file, you can call it whatever you want. Um, in this case here, we're going to call it CP1. mission header all right and then it's gonna say choose a class and as you can see just by the size of this bar there is quite a few classes in here so it's best to just search do miss and you will come up with mission header you got four choices um, one for campaign, one for combat ops, a generic one, and then this mission header. I don't know what that is. Uh, I've never even used it. But for us, we're going to select SCR mission header combat ops. And remember, in the one of the very first videos, you can do this when you do your game mode setup. So when you run your uh, plugin from the world, uh, game mode setup plugin, it asks you to create this file. You could do it at that time if you want and it will just generate the file for you. Um, we did not at that time. Uh, we wanted to show you this process. So now we have our header and so what you have, this is blank. Um, our world, you're going to drive to your world. So if you have two two worlds and you got to do two mission headers and you put them in uh, file folders. So we could make a sub sub file in here, uh, or we can just have two files in here, and then when it generates that mission, it'll be it'll be clear. Um, world uh, name is Combat Patrol One Evron. Don't worry about the path. You don't need it. Um, path to the mission. Uh, well, it's it's already here. It's this is the whole point of this header. So uh, description. I don't get too crazy in here. Um, I don't put a lot of detail in this in this one. So whip uh, work in progress. Uh, this. I usually do something like this when I'm building the mission. Um, okay, uh, icon, loading screen, and preview image. These are defaults. You can see default. You cannot publish with these images. It will throw an error. So what you need to do is come up with an images that you want to put in here. I use the one that is from uh, that I generated. Um, you know, for the loading screens and stuff, uh, and for the work workbench. So I, I reference these images. Um, so we're just going to use one image, drag and drop, and that'll be good there. Um, game mode, just leave it as sandbox. You don't have to change it. Player count. This doesn't affect your player count as far as how many people can join the game or join the server. This is just a, a, a number that is out there. I don't you know, think it does really anything, to be honest with you, um, at this point. Uh, what affects your player count is if you make predefined groups uh, in the uh, Faction Manager and or you edit the player group uh, config and set the count in there. That will define that. Uh, editable game flags, I don't 
really uh, use these. I don't even know what they're for. I don't even bother with them. Is saving enabled? If you want to be able to save your uh, mission, um, it says when true saving mission state is enabled. So go ahead and check on that. And then the file name, um, when undefined, the name of the associated world will be used. So I just leave it undefined, let it associate that. Um, if you want to override the time and weather, uh, you can do it in here. Um, I don't know why you would do that if you're the creator of this mission. Uh, if you give somebody, if you check that box in uh, the game mode uh, time and weather component, it's saying you can override a mission header, then I guess somebody could make a sub world of your mission and then they would be able to set it up here and, and do what they like. I usually leave this blank. Uh, I don't check any of this. I, I've already done it. So um, multiplier really not used here. So we don't do uh, XP uh, points. Uh, this is personal preference, map marker delete by anybody. If you want them to be able, anybody to delete them to clean up the map. And then of course, map, map marker limited by player, you can set to 10. Um, the task types, this is the same thing that was in the game mode setup under uh, SF, where we set up the tasks. Uh, you can do it here if you want again, but if it's set up in the game mode, then this is already, it's not gonna make any difference here but you would just click on that. And I don't think this overrides anything. I haven't played around with it because I usually don't even set this up. But you could see, uh, set the number of tasks to five, set it up and see if it makes a difference. Uh, but that's pretty much the mission header in a nutshell. Um, you know, not a whole lot there. It's, it's fairly simple uh self-explanatory uh and then you want to save that and then what this is is when you go to set up your server or somebody uses your mission to use it on a server um up in the very top of that uh json file you, this is where they they get that string from uh it's going to be uh the cp mission header doc config is going to be that string uh and that will tell you what the mission is um, so that's it for that uh, let's go back to the world uh, we'll just talk about where we're gonna go from here uh, in a couple minutes so I've gone through the faction editor we've gone down through loadout we've looked at these other managers we've got the uh, AI world set up uh, the next thing I am going to do is I'm going to start copying out all these layers so what I did was I set up the east I added a layer another layer and we'll travel over there so before this was just a spawn point so what I'm going to do next is I want to set this up so that there's a little camo net here there are some arsenal boxes that have some limited stuff in it uh, and I will go over that in a later video of how I set up that arsenal box. Um, but I'm going to start prepping all these areas and getting them ready. Uh, these are all identical now. I've done the east. And now I just need to copy over uh, to the uh, other areas, the north, north, south, and uh, west. So that's going to be where we're going to go from there. Uh, let's see. I want to just set this back. So I'm going to turn on. I disabled it. So I disabled this. I set it. Remember, I wanted this to be at dark. So we're going to start at 20, uh, 20 hundred hours. And then it's going to have uh, a start range. Uh, nope, sorry. Because I checked random starting daytime range is going to go from 2100 to 1 a.m. So you should start somewhere randomly in, in that time. Random weather, random changes. So let's do that. These should be all turned off. 
East should be the only one. And we want to make sure these are all enabled. And I'll just show you what the example of the starting mission is going to look like. Um, and what I will do at this point is start to go down through that entire hierarchy and make sure everything is right before I publish. So this is a test task I have set up. And what I've done, so this is night. Got some arsenal boxes. I created a red lens flashlight. And you also have a red lens flashlight. And that's it. You don't have a white lens. You're only allowed red lens because it's nighttime. Um, so uh, that's going to be the start of my mission. And we still got a couple minutes here. So what I'm going to do next is, okay, so this is where I'm going with this. Um, once I finish the east... Okay, once I complete the this east here and east here, and I'm not sure what this is. I've got to look at this and find out why I have that down there. Um, I've got my patrols in. What you want to do is you'll save everything. Then you just go to workbench and you go publish to workshop. And you click on that. And this window comes up and your working directory, um, it's set to the games directory. Uh, I usually change it to my other directory that I'm working out of. And I'll usually set it as that. Uh, let me see, I got to set it to... So... It'll be set to that directory. Um, preview image. I use the preview image that we got over here. So you just drive over to uh, the folder. And select that image. Open it. And then you're good to go there. Um, screenshots, you, you can put as many screenshots, you just drive to the folder where they're at. Contributors, if you're working with somebody, it has to be the Bohemia uh, interactive email address that they use for their account. So you can see right there, contributors specified from a list of Bohemia account emails. Um, categories, you always want to select SP and MP or whatever applies to your mod or whatever. I usually select SP and MP. Tags, you can put in tags here. I forget the separator, though. So I'm not going to put any in here. Um, there is a separator if you put multiple tags. I think it's either semicolon or, or comma. Um, license, uh, if you want to find out about all the different licenses, click on this little question mark, and it will open up to the web page that covers licenses. And that's where you can find that information. Uh, version, you notice it's blank, so I usually start out with 0 .0, uh, 0 0.0.1, and we'll make it that. And then you can put in a summary. You can see um, I've already filled this out. Um, a description, um, same thing. This is what goes in the workshop. So this is what will appear in the workshop when you publish. And then you're your different visibilities. So if you are ready to go public, you select public. If you want this to be shown up only as a test scenario, then select test and it will be filtered out by the workshop unless the person selects test. And then unlisted, um, only those people, like if you type your name into the workshop, it will show up then and you can download it um, or if you have it on a, on a server and you have unlisted here, people who join that server will download this mod and then they will have it. So you can kind of use that to keep people from getting your mod. 
put in your change notes. Um, I always put mine, uh, you know, I put mine on my Discord, so I don't usually enter anything in here. Um, these little icons here, you can make it bigger, so you can add more text. You can see the uh, level of text uh, that you have, the characters you're allowed. Okay. Um, one last thing. Uh, we just went over 15 minutes. So if you go to your web page and you type in Arma Reforger Publishing, um, it will come up with the mod publishing process. And this will tell you how to publish everything I just went over in here. It tells you what all the little screens are and what it does. And tells you how to remove your mod if it gets, um, you know, corrupted or something. You can still remove it no matter what. Um, and it's got some uh, other little information it tells you about. Uh, I'm not sure how valid this is anymore. Uh, so, but this is the... This is the wiki on the publishing process. Just type in Armor Reforger Publishing and it'll pop to the top. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much it. We are not going to publish just yet because um, I'm not quite ready for that. But this is how you do it. This is the final step. Hit publish and it'll throw it out there on the net. Okay. We're going to stop that. Appreciate it. And we're going to move on to the next uh, next video. Thank you very much.